Hi, I'm Allie. Join me in this Better Beater episode as I walk you through some ideas to add chain and beads together. Not just to link them together with wire, but how to actually make the beads look like they fit inside the chain. We have a huge selection now of new chain in a number of different colors and styles, and I want to show you some really cool uses for the chain that you may not initially think of. So the first way you might think to add chain to design into your jewelry is like I did with this layered chain bracelet, making the chain its own separate component and linking it together with other beads, whether or not you're doing it as a beautiful fun necklace, or in this case, as kind of a stackable layer bracelet. You can also cut the chain and add beads to it or have beads hang down via head pins like this high-end uh, rainbow sapphire necklace and just creating little links that are going off of all this Potomac's chain. The other thing that I wanted to show you is something Jenny and I were, were working on of actually filling the chain with beads. There's a number of different ways to do this. I've done a video on an embellished chain with a beaded embellished chain and I'll kind of show you and walk you through that. But I also, also wanted to highlight the potential to actually make it appear like there's beads inside of your chain. Now, how this is done is with a lot of thread ends, and you'll become really great friends with your thread burner. What you're going to do is look at the chain you're using, like this oval and loop chain. Figure out where you can get the beads to sit so that they're looking like when they have that front view that they're inside of a chain. Here I have a tubelet followed by two 11 OC beads, and I'm tying them to the links that are connecting the chain. And just with that simple act of burning them down, I'm not seeing a ton of thread. Linking each individual, burning it off, going to the next one, and tying and linking each individual. Making sure that those little um, quick links that are done here are nice and closed. But because I'm pulling tension towards the front and the back, just literally looping around here, putting the beads through, looping and running back through the beads and tying off, you can create a lot of great designs by putting the beads into the chain. So see here the same deal. I have the chain, and then you can see those little loops that are tied to either section of the chain. Just taking the thread through, holding it down here, adding your beads, looping around that chain link and taking it back down. In the embellished chain, you can do the same factor here, and I just have regular sewing thread on. One, to show you why you don't wanna use regular sewing thread, but to show you that you don't need any special tools to do this. You can take beads like C beads here, these are 80 C beads, and you can weave in and out of your chain. Again, this is like the embellished, um, the bead embellished chain, where you're just adding some C beads and sewing through different links of the chain. Going through here, skipping over one link so it's side by side, simply sewing through, and getting that easy look of the beads going to either side of the chain. Now I can do them longer or smaller and actually make the chain weave as well too, but it just adds that little extra element of design when you're looking at embellished bead chain with your chain, actually adding the beads into the chain via a literally just a square knot, right over left, left over right, and then burning off the thread ends to make it look like it's its own simple, delicate design, whether or not you then decide to hang some beads on head pins down from the center, or even to keep it as it is, or just like we did in the layer chain bracelet, add it into the layer chain where the beads look like they're appearing inside. Just gives it a completely different element. Jenny and I had fun working on it, and I thought it would be a great Better Beater episode to maybe take you out of your comfort zone and start looking at chain in a new light. Not just how do I use it for the back of my necklace and then maybe bead the front or bead weave the front, but actually how do I bead weave the chain by adding beads to it? So this is two different examples of how to do that technique, looping on either side of the chain that you're ending with or even weaving in and out of the chain to create that illusion that the beads are floating inside or around the chain itself. Thanks so much for joining me for this Better Beater episode. Just giving a little idea for what you can do with chain that may be thinking outside the box, or if the chain is a box chain, 
inside the box by adding beads in there. They can be small and tiny like 11 OC beads or even with a bigger chain, six millimeter or eight millimeter beads floating along the sides or in the interior links of the chain. This same technique can also be used for some soldered forms or closed forms, perfect rings to get that same idea that it looks like it's floating within an interior of a form. As always, the Better Beater episodes are really made to springboard ideas, to give you information, and to make you a better beater. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss anything from us. Remember, thank you so much, have fun designing and being creative, and stay tuned for our next inspirational video.